So it's that joyous time of year again, the trees need pollarding. It's a common thing here in France and you might ask, well, why are we doing it? They don't look huge and it, it's not really a major problem right now. But when we got here, they were 30, 40 foot high um, and the roots had started to damage in and around the walls that go around the chateau. And again, next to the chateau, you can see some of the damage over here that it started to do. Um, and again, it's not that big right now, but we want to stop this happening again. So we'll get this fixed and repaired um, in time this year, but the roots have actually gone under the ground because wherever you see above the ground, you're gonna see below the ground as well. And these were absolutely huge. And this is just a bit of the damage that they've caused. There's a few places around the place um, that this has actually happened. So the reason for us pollarding and the reason us, for us doing it is to make sure that the root structures hopefully will stay smaller on the basis that we keep the trees chopped. So it's not just the pollarding. We've then got all of this left over um, that we've got to tidy up. So I'm going to be chopping all that up as well in little pieces so we've got kindling. We know when we did these 12 trees a couple of years ago that, that it lasted us for about two years. So all I'm doing, once I've got the tree done, I'll spend an hour or two just chopping it up into little twiglets and we'll have kindling for the next couple of years, hopefully. So I'm going to bash on. When you put your hand in my jacket, I'm thinking so irrational. You flew me international now. When we kissed when I was reading the signals, but that's so unoriginal. What if we took this back to my house? Under all these lights, I gotta take a minute, take a minute, take a minute to calm down. But I feel like. You can make out for play in the backseat Please tell me not how that all sounds You can sleep in while I make breakfast Watch cartoons and talk about exits And if you're happy, stick around I just feel like this is worth the risk I never felt a fire like this If I told you I was ready right this minute Do you think that it would turn you around? I just feel like you need to know if I told you I was ready right this minute Would you just run off and tell someone I just feel like you need to know Right here, right now We're running out of things to talk about Right here, right now I'm about to let the truth come out If I told you I was ready right this minute So I'm out of fuel, as you've seen, I've had to make me two stroke mix up. So there's a couple of things we've learned since I've been out here in France. Um, don't buy cheap two stroke oil. It's knacked all my tools, they're constantly having to be repaired. The one bit of advice I've been given is buy a decent two stroke oil. So it's probably twice the price in terms of what you'd normally buy. So we've bought a decent Oregon one, um, five litres of it, 
but it's good and my tools aren't breaking and I'm not having to get them repaired. So just a bit of advice with it. I don't pre-mix all my um, two stroke cup, reason being is all my fuels take different amounts. So my chainsaw is 40 to one, my strimmer's 30 to one, I've got my late lawnmower which is 50 to one. So it just depends on what I'm doing. So I don't pre-mix, I, I mix each individual one exactly to what I need. And again, I know my tools are gonna be in good working order if I do that. So get this in. I can get back to work. So for those of you that don't know what two-stroke is, the majority of you will know what two-stroke is, but for those of you that don't, engines like this don't have oil circulating like pistons so the fuel gets fired directly into it so to keep the piston lubricating to keep the machine working um, you have two stroke oil in the actual fuel itself to keep the all your pistons and everything inside good and um, so that's what we do it for and that's why it's really important to get a, a good one um, because it's going directly straight into your engine so yeah good bit of advice I got again chainsaw oil one thing I've found is if you don't keep an eye on this then you'll go through blades for fun. Um, you just they're just no good at all. Probably ten minutes with the saw and and you've completely cream cracked. So again, decent chainsaw oil. Every time I fuel up, I fill the chainsaw oil up, or I check the chainsaw oil, make sure I don't need any more, and that way my blades last ten times longer. That's as good to go again. So that's three trees down, we're onto the last one on this side and then we've got four that side and four on this side of the chateau. So we'll crack on now. So, it was a good first day? Yeah, been a long one. Yeah, it's been tiring, yeah. getting them sorted. It's, it's chopping them down, moving them, and then... Well, we learned from last time. Last time we did all 12 and just left it all later. Yeah. And then that job's massive. So, at least doing this in, in bite-sized bits, it breaks it up a bit as well. Yeah. And it means you're not constantly with the chains or the choppers or... Yeah, and getting sorted. 
So we're knackered, obviously we've been muddy, cold, wet. Yeah, and we haven't used the our muscles, like say when you haven't done something like that for so long. Yeah. In terms of like using the chainsaw and bending down and stuff like that. Yeah. You forget and then your body forgets. Yeah. So so. But yeah, well it's a good job done. Like I said, four down, we've got four on the other side to do, mm -hmm. and then we've got four well two, two either side. side. Yeah. At the chateau to do as well. Mm -hmm. And then that's them all done for now. Mm -hmm. And then it's just cracking on with the other trees whenever we can. Yeah. Yeah. But for now we're gonna enjoy a nice bath yeah. and relax and then get ready for tomorrow. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Well done. One of the most important things I've learned out here since being in France, I've never had all this tools and machinery and heavy equipment that we've got now. The most important thing I've found is you have to maintain it. You have to find ways to, to look after your equipment and, and know how to service it. Now to save money as well, this little piece of kit I bought here, it's an Einhell, uh, Einhell um, chainsaw chain sharpener. So. If right now, if I want to buy a chain for my chain, so it's about 25 euro for a decent chain. Um, this I paid 50 euro for, but it doubles the life, even triples the life. I get out my chainsaw blades, so for every time I sharpen a blade, I'm saving 25 euro. Reason I have to do it is the wood's wet, um, it, it's obviously still living wood, we're not cutting through dry wood or anything like that, and it just dulls the blade after so long. And I can see it, I know exactly when it's about to do it now because I've used this machine for so long when it comes off in little tiny bits of like sawdust rather than in flakes um, I know it needs doing and I noticed it when we were getting towards the end yesterday of doing the, the fourth tree so got a nice sharp blade while I've got everything open I'm going to clean the inside of the chainsaw out just so the lubrication gets through on the oil comes through and gets onto the chain properly and it just means everything lasts a bit longer and works a bit better so I'm going to do that now and then put it all back together
that's it eight out of eight done on the front here just to get it all matching up and looking good again i am really happy with how they've turned out this time we can, i can see the difference in in what we've done last time compared to now um, last time they'd been up for they hadn't been done for 20 25 years you couldn't get in with the machinery properly i didn't really have the proper tools to do it but no it needed done so now we've got the tools we've been able to get in make them look a lot better over the years it will get um they will get better we'll shape them how we want we'll be able to match them a lot more but it's a good job done for now and yeah there's only the four next to the chateau to do but we'll get them done in due course that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching um please hit the like and subscribe button it, it really does help us and we'll see you in the next show If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.